Welcome to our Google Maps webinar, leveraging Google Maps API for enhanced data visualization. We are excited to have you join us. Over the next hour, we'll explore how the Google Maps API unlocks geospatial insights, transforming business decisions and customer engagement. You will have a chance to learn how businesses use Google Maps API to visualize large data sets. You will experience a live demo and you will be able to ask any questions you might have during the Q&A session at the end. So let's get started. Let me introduce you to our speakers. Today, we have two Google Maps experts joining us. Yulia Kerichuk, Implementation Specialist at CloudFresh, and Alexander Vakula, Sales Executive at CloudFresh. Yulia, Alexander, thank you for joining us today. And now I would like to introduce you to CloudFresh and who we are. CloudFresh is a global Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta partner. We are trusted by more than 1,400 customers from more than 50 countries. Since 2017, we've been specializing in implementation, migration, integration, audit, administration, support, and training for the best in-class cloud solutions. We offer an entire life cycle of professional services to support our customers, from consulting and planning to implementation and training of your teams. When it comes to Google Maps, we can provide tailored packages of professional services that you can now see on your screen to help you make the most out of Google Maps solutions. We are proud to have worked with top tier companies in various industries. Over the years, companies such as Deloitte, PwC, Vodafone, Forbes, and many others have chosen CloudFresh for their cloud solutions. We are very grateful that you have taken the time to join us here today. And that's why we would like to present you with a special offer, three hours of free consulting on Google Maps from our certified experts. To claim this offer, simply scan this QR code that you see on your screen and fill out the form, and we will get in touch after the webinar. For your convenience, I will also share the link here in the chat. And one more surprise for today. We're offering a gift certificate for the Google Merchandise Store to the person who asks the most interesting question to our speakers today. So don't hesitate, ask any questions you might have, and you might be the lucky one to win this certificate. The winner will be chosen by our speakers at the end of this session. That will be all from my side. Thank you for your attention. And now I would like to pass the word to our first speaker. Alexander, the stage is yours. Perfect. Thank you so much, Anastasia. Hi, everyone. My name is Alexander Vakula, and uh, I'm sales executive at CloudFresh. And today I will be talking about how Google Maps API can help you to get the power of geospatial data to make smarter business decisions and supercharge your customers' experience. So let's get started. Um, you know that the world is changing rapidly, and uh, thanks to the internet, connected devices, and cloud technology, and with it, the amount of data we are generating is exploding. And geospatial data, which is information about where things are, is especially valuable for many companies, giving them crucial insights into their customers and operations. In the past, we mostly used uh, to look at maps to see where things were, but now we can use geospatial data to analyze and understand patterns, trends in a much deeper way. This allows businesses to make better decisions about everything from where to set up stories to how to optimize their delivery routes. Uh, the, the problem is many companies find it difficult to collect and analyze geospatial data. They might 
um, not have the right tools or uh, infrastructure to the data might be messy and unreliable. And this is where Google Maps API comes in. Uh, Google Maps API provides businesses with a powerful set of tools for visualizing and analyzing geospatial data. It's easy to use even if you are not uh, a tech expert and it integrates seamlessly with your exciting business tools. In fact, uh, research shows that 80% of businesses data has a location component, meaning there is a huge opportunity for business to unlock the power of geospatial insights. So if you are ready to take your business to the next level, we encourage you to learn more about Google Maps API and how it can help you to achieve your goals. Geospatial data is challenging and not standardized across regions. Just imagine this. You are trying to reach a customer in Japan, but their address doesn't include a street name. In Japan, blocks are numbered instead, and the address uh, starts with the postal code. Now imagine trying to navigate Dubai Mall, a massive complex with 11 official addresses. Confusing, right? Uh, data accuracy and standardization can be tricky across different regions. This uh, inconsistency can lead to frustration and errors, especially in businesses' operations. But fear not, Google Maps API uh, offers powerful tools to overcome these challenges. With geospatial intelligence, businesses can now layer an additional data such as demographics, traffic patterns, distance, and much more. This unlocks a treasure trove of instances to understand customers and optimize internal operations. Get ready for this by 2025, a staggering 90% of data will have location tags attached to it. And that's a clear sign to the huge power waiting to be used. Forget static maps and trendy jargon. Geospatial intelligence is a game changer, transforming how business understand, engage, and delight the, their customers at every stage. From discovery to purchase, support to community, geospatial intelligence at context to both online and offline interactions, it's about unlocking deeper insights in, and creating personalized experience that truly matters. This isn't just about location anymore. With cutting-edge technology, the possibilities are infinite. From optimizing delivery roads to analyzing customer behavior, geospatial intelligence is a revolution uh, industries across the board. A recent study by Oxford Economics and uh, Google Maps platform served one thousand executives to understand the impact of geospatial services on businesses. The results are clear. Geospatial services are transforming operation, boosting efficiency and leading to better decisions across industries. Executives survived see geospatial services as a key tools for improving product quality enhancing customer experiences and achieving high-level business goals. Over half are already implementing customer-facing applications with early benefits, and another 22% are heavily invested in this area. While substantial 
progress has been made, the full potential of geospatial technology remains untapped. Top performing companies have gained an early age and others must quickly join the mapping revolution to stay competitive. The, res the research highlights uh, that vast value geospatial services offers businesses by embracing these technologies, companies can unlock a world of opportunity and achieve success in today's dynamic marketplace. And last but not least, uh, survey data indicates a correlation between investment in geospatial uh, services and revenue growth, profitability and cost uh, reductions. So a majority of response, um, respondents uh, have seen revenue growth since first investing in geospatial services with over 40% who have also expressed an increase in their rate of revenue growth since marketing their first purchases. Let's take a closer look at why Google Maps platform is the best location platform for your enterprise. There are multiple reasons why customers choose Google Maps platform. Google's data is real time and more accurate. One of the keys of this popular Google Maps customer experience with over 1 billion, 1 billion monthly active users and Android ecosystem uh, with over 2 billion monthly active devices around the world. And Google continues to invest in with over 50 million updates made to the map each day. Um, here is a high-level snapshot of what um, Google Maps platform provides. Google has rich places uh, data we, uh, that um, consumer apps also use. Uh, just in uh, the last few years, uh, AI uh, image processing has been one of the important ways Google has added more than 10 billion changes to its place, uh, places library providing people with updated phone numbers, hours, and locations when they use maps. Over the past three years, the number of reviews, rates, and photos um, people add to Google Maps has been doubled. Uh, place includes rich data on no, place names, addresses, rates, revenues, uh, contacts information, and atmosphere it's helping your customers explore the world around them uh, google maps is loved and familiar uh, location platform uh, when using maps businesses uh, customers expect the google maps experience they know and love as consumers they already understand how data like points of interest and uh, roads uh, are represented on the maps and are well versed in how to use the product, which eliminates the RAM uh, uptime in learning new products and makes them more efficient. Google Maps is built on Google's infrastructure, so you can scale from prototype to production to planet scale without uh, thinking about capacity, reliability, or performance. Google's future-proof infrastructure is secure, high-performant, and constantly improving. Security, whatever you build, create, code, or store, Google will protect it. You can rely on Google's comprehensive, secure infrastructure, expert engineers, and commitment to transparency. Google's infrastructure operates at 99.9% .9 reliability and high uh, availability. 
Uh, here you can see products created for visualization for of geospatial data. You can find uh, the right product for your um, job, request, business. Um, so you can create um, reliable goal maps with these products, no matter um, what mapping tools are your business needs, you will find them here. And um, uh, some many different tools and technologies can be used for uh, to uh, visualize geospatial data and uh, some popular options um, include Looker Studio, BigQuery, GeoWiz, Google Earth Engine, Jupyter Notebooks and the important things which I want to share with you it's uh, about geospatial challenges so for now, it's like large data must be loaded into memory client side, causing slow first map load times. Uh, the visual must be performant on all devices, including uh, lower end mobile phones with have memory and GPU uh, constraints. And finally, if you need to choose an expensive data rendering library, library uh, that is um, portable, reliable with large data. So I will give the floor to Julia. She will uh, tell us about Google Maps API, can, how they can help us to overcome uh, these problems and create visualizations that are informative and um, accessible to all users. And Julia will show uh, you a demo, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Julia? the stage is yours hi everyone my name is uh, julia and i'm really glad to be here and talk about, uh, about data i hope everyone from you love data and traveling and geography like me and will enjoy that meetup uh, like uh, our team in cloud fresh actually so uh, let's talk about data. Data, data, data. I can't make bricks without clay. It's a famous phrase of Sherlock Holmes. It's uh, really true because we just can't make any decision without data. In uh, our um, daily life, uh, everybody produces a huge amount of data every day consider a simple trip to the grocery store your shopping list is a competition of data each item represented in specific needs and preferences the bus scheduler you real uh, you rely on uh, the um and just uh, everything around us is a uh, uh, data sets uh so uh i hope uh, uh you all trying to live uh, the data data driving life uh, like uh, me trying actually when you're tracking your health or nutrition using tracking everything you can make an interesting conclusion just try to track your spending activities and analyze your result in money save or weight you will see a correlation and it's really inspiring and enjoyable because you can control your life and actually it's also suited for companies um and uh just uh, when we work with uh, our corporate data we have to plan it in our regular life uh, we just uh, using it but by intuition uh, but uh, in work we should to prepare to work in with our data we start with asking and preparation and process our data and analysis and then we have to share our data sets and it's really comfortable to use visualization to share data with stakeholders with other clients and provide uh, uh, simply to understand information to our clients and stakeholders to make the best decision data-driven decision actually so is uh 
And here we can just make a conclusion that the uh, girls' portal data is a new unicorn in 21st century because everywhere we just uh, work with girls' portal data. We can put on map our activities, our spending. Uh, we can uh, put uh, on our map uh, our traveling, uh, our actually our plans too when we uh, planning our travel we make a map and we add information on that so that's it we live in world uh, which full of data and actually is full in geospatial data uh, so we talked uh, about visualization before and it's uh, really inspire and uh, it's uh, help uh, us to um, just talk about uh, data and uh, prepare information in a visible and understandable way to our stakeholder and clients. So uh, let's talk uh, about data in a simple um, examples. So today we will talk about uh, ready to use tools like on BigQuery GoWiz and we will talk about uh, Looker Studio and of course we will talk about Google Maps API where we have just uh, non-limit access to make uh, a lot of really uh, fantastic uh, things. Stop. Uh, I will share my screen just a second. Okay, colleague, let me know is everything okay? Do you see my screen? Yes, everything okay, thank you. Okay, nice. So here it is. Here you can uh, see example from my demo uh, BigQuery account. Uh, so it's pretty simple to uh, use BigQuery when you have a huge data set. So it's work like a simple SQL query. And here you can see a small uh, query where I just take uh, uh, data from my uh, table and it's really comfortable to work with uh, looker from BigQuery because you can make uh, a uh, visualization uh, from BigQuery and actually you can make visualize the data from uh, actually your ready query when you don't need to provide all data and your big table you can just choose uh, needed information and make uh, visualize to your uh, stakeholders so i'm sorry i was really fast so uh, we have to press and explore data and here we can choose uh, three buttons first of them is explore with cheese Actually, it's also comfortable when you want to analyze uh, small uh, data from BigQuery from your uh, data set. And you just choose uh, like an, uh, um, uh, 10 or 20 uh, rows and want to analyze it in simple way. So you can just open the data in uh, sheets. So. Uh, here it is. It looks like that. And just please note uh, here, not just full table. I open just my query, and it's really uh, comfortable to work with. Uh, and the second possibility, it's uh, exploring with uh, Looker Studio. So it's similar way. We just press explore with the Looker Studio. And uh, here we can uh, work with uh, Looker. And interesting query because today we're talking about Google Maps API and we're talking about uh, Gauss portal data. So uh, here we just can work with data on map. Uh, so we have to add a chart and here we can choose Google Maps needed 
two works. So we can choose a bubble map and filed map and heat map and also line map when we uh, have to uh, provide information about some districts, for example. And also we can choose a uh, combo map. So it looks uh, pretty simple. Uh, actually, we're talking about uh, Z tools uh, because not everyone knows how to uh, make code. And sometimes we need to uh, visualize our data fastly. Uh, so Z uh, tools uh, will be pretty uh, useful for that. So here in location, we have to provide a uh, point and provide a uh, dimension to uh, our dimension range. Let's choose a price. So you see, it's pretty simple and everyone, a business analyst or sales manager just can do it. Uh, and uh, next feature I want to talk about is an BigQuery GeoVis, uh, and it's pretty simple to work uh, uh, with. But uh, here you have to know SQL language, so we have to authorize first to choose our project ID, and then you have. To to uh, make a simple select uh, and different from a uh, simple SQL here, you have to provide uh, girl point data. So in my table, just a second, let's select everything. Uh, you see in my table in raw data, we have uh, to um, a field and uh, here latitude and longitude. But for BigQuery database, we have to provide uh, it in one field. So here I just uh, uh, provide uh, this two column in one uh, by um, uh, my query. And also I have provided data to um, job point uh, and uh, and as a uh, geo point for understandable for big query geovis all information about it you can find in documentation or you can contact partners like uh, we actually we your best friend uh, for working with uh, google maps and data so here it this uh, we have a uh, query and uh, here we have information about that query. In our table uh, we have information about um, uh, re uh, by house information in Madrid and first uh, column is information about district. Here we have an uh, uh, price and file for and here we have a latitude and longitude. So, Let's see on our data. Uh, here are all um, our uh, location uh, where we can buy flat in Madrid. Uh, then uh, we can uh, style that uh, data, what I did before. So I just fill a color here. So. Uh, I just uh, uh, divide the domain by uh, data, so uh, and I divided it by flat rent price. Actually, it's um, logical. So uh, what we see here, uh, when we uh, have price before uh, one hundred thousand uh, euros, there uh, we have an uh, red. Uh, dot. Uh, when we uh, have price before uh, two hundred thousand, we have an orange and etc. etc. So you can just choose uh, colors and you can choose a um, domain range uh, here. And uh, next uh, uh, style I like to use it's a circle radius. Uh, it's comfortable when you see uh, the bigger circle for bigger price. So actually I did it 
here and uh, the same information about the man here uh, you can uh, choose everywhere everything whatever you want and the range range it's um actually circle radius so uh, when I have a price before uh, 100,000, I have a 10 uh, millimeters uh, circle radius. So let's see what uh, conclusion we can make from that marks. Actually, it's pretty logical that uh, we have um, blue color for most expensive uh, flats and we can see the most expensive and uh, biggest uh, points we can see in the center of madrid so and here we can make a conclusion that uh, the more prices uh, flat in the uh, center and we can find uh, for example red small circles somewhere in countryside so and it's pretty easier work than with just a table and find information uh, where we can find some prices and where its uh, flat is located uh, okay and uh, we just talked about uh, ready to use um, uh, tools and just let talk about api uh, the most useful api for working with uh, data sets for now it's uh, google maps uh, javascript api so here we have an unlimited possibility to work with some data uh, so here we have storage with uh, JSON information and also we can use uh, here and BigQuery or uh, SQL data or any cloud or any table, for example. We just have to uh, paginate data in uh, JSON format and provide the data to Google Maps. And here we have a small like a simple example working with an uh, earthquake uh, points in uh, map uh, so uh, uh, here here we have to provide a source uh, here is our json uh, also you can just um, uh, write a script uh, with uh, database etc and etc and also interesting point you can uh, just customize your marker for example uh, you can find on uh, uh, some uh, mountain uh, market to marker to put on map or some custom uh, marker you can just uh, and draw by yourself uh, everything whatever you want also it's possible to uh, join uh, some uh, markers uh, it's uh, uh, simpler to work with also it's possible to make an heat maps uh, for example uh, to find information where we have uh, most of uh, earthquake for example uh, so and also i want to show you few examples in real world how uh, companies work with an uh, data visualization and uh, my uh, most uh, lovely example is a rent com company uh, because uh, they work uh, maps uh, really uh, interesting way that company use uh, 3d and they use and uh, google maps uh, javascript so uh, here on maps you can uh, see and customize a marker and actually you can see customized information on a marker uh, so here we can see the price uh, exactly on maps and choose and flat uh, what we uh, want to rent, especially on maps. And it's quite comfortable because here you also 
can see information about parks, about school, about kindergarten, etc., and etc. It's really comfortable when you have kids, when you want to run uh, uh, every morning, for example. So we can make really data driven decision because uh, company provide us uh, a lot of information about our future home. So uh, the second uh, example actually it's also ready to use tool uh, named Deca Girl and here we can work with Girls Portal data too. So uh, here in that demo, you can see uh, information uh, how to uh, track delivery. And here we can uh, see uh, in speeding, of course, uh, delivery uh, tra tracking uh, around cities. Uh, also, the second example, it's a uh, uh, live uh, fleet updates. Uh, so here we can find information about updating our fleet. Uh, and it's really interesting feature for logistic, for delivery, for uh, uh, track, uh, tracking actually. So, and uh, and next example, it's an um, actually 3D demo. It's really a good example for travel companies and for real estate companies, for shops, etc., etc. So here we can find an information around us actually when you use. Uh, uh, Gao location uh, to uh, user can see and places around uh, him. So uh, here we can zoom or unzoom, and um, uh, for example, I see and uh, travel information about uh, Barcelona. We can choose the next place, and he have a next travel attraction. And next, so you see, it's quite interesting for user and uh, now customer want more and more features. They want to uh, not just buy uh, needed um, goods, they need attraction with buying kit. They need them comfortable and they don't want to spend a lot of time. So using country data visualization, you can just provide information about your place. You can provide a real uh, video and real photo from your place. So uh, your customer just can find your place without any problem because before they just uh, seen everything about it. Uh, so, uh, next example is an, uh, pretty similar. Uh, here we used an uh, Arial uh, 3D API, and here is using uh, 3D Tiles uh, API. So, here we can uh, see information about Paris. Uh, and uh, next one, let's see about Tokyo. Uh, about Toronto. Oh, no, it's Tokyo. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so uh, it looks like that. And also we can put markers uh, there uh, about our uh, places, our shops, our business. Uh, we can provide also direction and road to our place. And everything is an visualization. Actually, visualization in just everything because uh, when you um, I want to find and route to your work on navigator. You also visualize your just potential data. You just uh, provide information about your present location. You provide information about place uh, what you want to reach, and uh, here you just visualize it. So that's it uh, from my side. Uh, so just remember that uh, data is important. It's important for a business. It can provide uh, you a lot of inspiration. It can provide you a lot of money when you use it the right way. And uh, it also can provide uh, you 
your own success in your uh, just uh, personal life in your business life in your career and actually it can provide a huge uh, progress for your company uh, because when you uh, work uh, in an uh, a uh, really powerful uh, data and uh, really powerful tools you will success anyway because data driven decision it's a way uh, so it's everything from my side and i just uh, give a stage for alexander and he uh, will provide us and interesting information about uh, our actually Google Maps API customer success cases. So enjoy. So I will explore um, two inspiring success cases, how Google Maps platform helped business uh, unlock success. First up, we have uh, Starland Bank, um, a leading mobile-only bank, uh, utilizing Google uh, Maps platform. They have enhanced customer experience by integrating uh, Google Maps with their uh, apps. Uh, bank provides customers with the geographical location of their spending, fostering um, better financial awarenesses and um, enabling quicker fraud uh, detection and financial tracking a uh, real-time notifications powered by google maps api inform customers about transactions and their locations ensuring competitive visibility into their finance uh, starling bank's uh, story exemplifies how google maps platform can impo uh, imp improve financial institutions to deliver a more convenient and personalized banking experience and the second case is um rome to rio uh, revolutionizing travel with google maps platform uh, gone are the days of juggling multiply websites and apps for travel planning Rome to Rio simplifies everything with a single powerful search engine powered by Google Maps platform imagine seamless location Google Maps data uh, locates you and analyzes uh, relevant travel options uh, instantly massive data power analyzing over uh, 500,000 daily uh, visits. Rom to Rio constantly improves um, its services and expands coverage. Uh, global reach, plan your trip uh, to our 2 million destinations easily worldwide and business success. Scalable uh, maps support Rom to Rio's impressive 30 growth, 41% growth making it a leader in a travel tech uh, space and rome to rio is more than just a travel uh, planner it's a revolution in travel intelligent powered by google maps platform thank you for uh, your attention today we have learned uh, a lot about um, google maps so it's powerful tool that can help uh, us in, in many situations and let Google Maps always help you find your way, discover uh, new places and have a good time. Thank you. Thank you, Yulia and Alexander for sharing your knowledge, expertise, real world examples and success stories. Um, now we invite all of our attendees to ask any questions you may have. Uh, please use the chat in the right corner. Um, I can already see some questions. Uh, thank you, Carolina and uh, Julia. Would you like to address these questions, please? Uh, yes, it's quite an interesting question. So Carolina has uh, 
uh, a huge possibility to win our uh, prize. Uh, so it's question what about uh, other development prospects for the Google Maps API in the context of the new technologies like an argument reality AR or artificial intelligence. Uh, actually, um, it's a uh, huge uh, prospect, especially about uh, AR uh, and uh, virtual reality, because uh, you know, and uh, uh, 3D uh, visualization, it's uh, uh, very, um, uh, how to say it, uh, popular now with a uh, game dev company uh, so if, uh, it's uh, make a possibility to make uh, games in uh, like in real world uh, so just imagine um, like you walking uh, uh, around uh, Paris and uh, make some uh, monster war or something like that and actually it's for game dave and uh, actually we can use uh, this in um, uh, business too for uh, marketing activities or for real estate for example uh, we also can make an uh, 3d tours uh, for example around the uh, flat one what you want to sell, uh, sell or around and some uh, places around your shops and um, actually Mm, it's not in uh, Google Maps uh, API, you, but uh, like in, in places uh, you can use an uh, 3D tours uh, in your shop, for example. And it's really popular now because uh, your customer just can visit um, your uh, shop uh, virtually and it's possible to make in AR actually. Uh, so it's a uh, quite interesting technology and it's now our future. So uh, uh, just uh, try to make it and provide the best service to your customer. But about AR actually, yeah, it's most um, like and popular in uh, game day for where you have um, possibility to find some Pokemons or something like that in uh, like a uh, real world environment uh, using an uh, Google Maps API. About artificial intelligence, um, no, for now uh, it's mostly using by uh, data analysis actually. So for using an artificial intelligence, we can uh, analyze a huge amount of uh, data, especially geospatial data, uh, when uh, you just tracking, uh, visiting uh, your place, uh, you can have uh, a huge amount of data and you can uh, analyze it using artificial intelligence. So you can uh, find the uh, best uh, hours uh, to uh, make some uh, marketing activities. You can uh, find uh, information about uh, the best um, uh, goods uh, you can uh, provide in each other and uh, each location. And uh, you can uh, find a lot of uh, correlation uh, using artificial intelligence. It's much faster and uh, uh, much uh, give uh, like um, more possibilities uh, in a big uh, data lay when like you work with manually with that data. Okay, next question from Carolina. How can Google Maps API be used to improve customer interaction and increase user engagement? Uh, oh, it's uh, a lot of ways, uh, actually, because uh, most uh, Google Maps API are just uh, uh, working for that. So firstly, we have to use a uh, Google um, uh, business profile. Uh, you have to put uh, all your location on uh, Google's business profile. Also, uh, it's an... Um, Mm, important to use uh, Google Ads. Uh, you can uh, set up uh, Google Ads uh, 
uh, using an uh, gas potential data you can uh, find your auditory by uh, using gas potential data so uh, here it is you can uh, just uh, work with uh, gas potential data by google ads and uh, add some district uh, for example where your shop uh, located and provide uh, your marketing activities especially for that uh, so uh, about engagement first it's a uh, uh, google my business profile uh, second it's and uh, provide uh, a really clear uh, localization data on uh, google maps it depends on your business uh, second way uh, if you provide uh, some travel activities uh, for example uh, it will be really cool to provide uh, three data about some tours or provide and roads you know people really Really love uh, interact uh, information uh, people and really love to press some uh, buttons and to watch uh, something new so for now it's not a lot uh, like a company do it uh, so you can be a first and provide customer and new information and just attract uh, them with that and also we had an example about real estate so uh, the put uh, data on a map it's uh, really comfortable because uh, you can find a flat for example for our example with the best price just on map so you can choose and location and price in one way you just uh, don't need uh, to choose and work is a huge amount of data uh, the second way when you um, sell some goods for example uh, i don't know some uh, furniture for example and you have a lot of uh, shops uh, in city you also can put uh, that information on data on a map uh, for example just user want to find some special sofa and um, uh, sometimes uh, when you have a franchise and it's possible to have in different prices or uh, availability you can put that information on map for example we can provide information in which shop uh, that sofa is available now to buy so uh, that's it it's a really a lot of way uh, for interact um, our user and improve and uh, customer uh, uh, engagement uh, okay next question from Marta I think I can cover it uh, yes I think it's, Our, right. it's of purchasing Google Maps throughout CloudFresh instead of buying directly from Google uh, so by um, cooperation with CloudFresh you will uh, receive payment by invoice uh, personalized multilingual communication and uh, last but not least professional support throughout the whole journey with uh, Google Maps platform thank you Sasha um, when we have one more question from Pavel uh, Julia would you like to share your thoughts um, about this question uh, just a second, I have to read uh, what the site is, uh, just a second. Oh. Uh, actually, it's uh, not official uh, Google Maps uh, tool, and uh, looks like it's uh, uh, oh my God! It looks like that guys uh, just broke uh, uh, Google Maps uh, policy and they just uh, scrap data from Google Maps so uh, like an um, official partner we are fully don't recommend to use services like that because uh, uh, when you're working with GoSpotial data you provide a lot of information about your company about your customer about your customer behavior so it's better to use uh, officially Google Maps uh, and uh, 
uh, not uh, just scrap and collect that. So uh, it's not on uh, Google Maps uh, tools, actually. Okay, thank you, Yulia. Um, we have one more question from Eva. Uh, what are the best practices for optimizing performance when using Google Maps API in high traffic applications? Mm -hmm. uh, so the best uh, practice actually is uh, use an uh, cloud and uh, use an uh, optimized uh, code, for example. And uh, in uh, high traffic, uh, you also can uh, use uh, limited uh, cache. Uh, actually, I don't remember. Um, when I remember correctly, you can use cache only for 30 days, uh, but uh, it's um, uh, be useful for uh, a high traffic application. And also you uh, have to understand that uh, Google uh, has a huge environment in clouds of uh, uh, it's uh, have a uh, huge uh, really good uh, performance and really um, I think it's uh, mostly impossible uh, to uh, make uh, down uh, Google infrastructure because uh, Google Maps also work in different uh, zo zones and uh, uh, give possibility uh, to make a uh, really stable uh, performance. Uh, okay, and... I guess we have uh, a uh, question from uh, Peter also. Uh, we actually have one more question from Bogdan. Uh, do you have any advice for businesses just starting to explore using Google Maps API for data visualization? You could also expand on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it uh, depends uh, from your needs so when you work like a business analyst for your uh, stakeholders, it's better to use a uh, looker uh, and uh, BigQuery uh, database. Uh, when you uh, work like a B2C company, so you have to use a Google uh, Maps uh, API. And uh, here you uh, can use uh, Google Maps uh, JavaScript uh, API. It's uh, make um, when, like a huge opportunity to um, customize just everything. When you want to provide a customer a uh, 3D visualization, you uh, have to use a uh, Google Maps uh, Arial 3D data or uh, tile 3D tiles, uh, for example. And uh, also, it's possible to use uh, just um, simple uh, maps. Uh, for uh, visualize just a simple data. For example, when you want just provide information where are uh, your uh, location, uh, where shop uh, location or something uh, else. So uh, um, you can uh, use uh, just uh, dynamic maps, for example. Uh, when you want to visualize information about your truck set uh, and uh, information about your logistic, for example, for customer or for your stakeholders, you have to use an roads API. Uh, it uh, can help with that. And roads also can help with find the best roads uh, and uh, directions from uh, point to point. Uh, so, actually, it depends uh, from your needs, and uh, every time I will, uh, we will be happy to help you with uh, choosing a needed uh, API. Just contact uh, CloudFresh, and we can make a discovery product and provide uh, the uh, best uh, opportunity and best practice and uh, best API uh, what you can use um, like an in best way in uh, best price. So that's it. Uh, do we have any question? 
No, I think we covered all of it. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Alexander. We are already out of time, but we'll take just um, one more minute of your time. Uh, so let's um, let's see who is the lucky winner today. Um, Alexander, if you can move to the next slide, please. Just a moment. Um, perfect. Yes. Uh, so um, as a reminder, we are offering the Google the certificate for the Google Merchandise Store for seventy pounds for the best question asked. And I think Julia already spoiled it today. Um, is Carolina our winner today? Julia, please confirm. Yeah, I really love that question because I love when uh, people are interested in something new and IR and I really a new feature in our world. And uh, Carolina, I, uh, you inspire me and it's a really cool question. So you are a winner. Perfect. Thank you. So, Carolina, yes, thank you for your question. Um, I'll be in touch after the webinar with your certificate. And just one more last thing for today, I would like to remind you about our um, special offer. Um, so we offer three hours of uh, consulting on Google Maps. Um, I send the link once again in the chat. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Visit the page, um, fill out the form and um, we'll be in touch. And yes, once again, thank you all for joining. It's been our pleasure. Um, as I mentioned, the webinar re recording will be sent to you soon. And if you have any other questions regarding the Google Maps product or any other cloud solutions, feel free to reach out to us at hi at cloudfresh.com. Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thank you, bye.